Welcome back. I'm here with Melanie and Brian who have overflowing clutter in their drawers like all of you and they have nothing on their walls. And we're gonna fix both issues right now with the help of DIY expert, Michelle Beshin. Michelle, welcome. Thank, Thank you for you. being here. Thanks for having me. Thank you. It's a fun so challenge. I, I heard that you watch Michelle's yes, DIY do. shows. <laughs> I love her. You do? Awesome. Thank okay, you. so this is really like- Oh, I hope I don't disappoint. This is like gonna be a good date, <laughs> yes. I feel. All right, all right, so what is your solution for Melanie and Brian? Okay, um, first of all, I had a lot of fun going, they had their drawers separated. They had them in boxes for me. And you both have very different drawers, which I thought was fun. Your drawer was very typical of what, like a busy mom and yes. the, kind of the things that I'm throwing in my junk drawers. Mm -hmm. Yours was a little more thoughtful. And really? you had your, you had better stuff in yes, your drawer. Okay. You had Fair. true junk in your drawer. Yeah, mine like was what kind of was, stuff does it did, hers did he was have? dirty. You know, you know when you dump a junk drawer out and it's no, all dusty it's and it's right. got and lots of stuff from kids, yeah. little kids, all, all kinds of Legos, you know, things that we have like empty in our pockets okay. and putting in yeah. there. That's okay. what her drawer was all about. Okay. His, he had special stuff. He had like a, a love letters book and he had uh, stuff from the military. He had cool stuff. Yeah. All right. So so and in that I looked at the, what each of them had in their drawers and I, I created a piece of artwork separate. You know, I, I used one um, your drawer for one piece of art, your drawer for another, and I but yet tried to make them go together. Okay. So it was kind of a it was a fun a All fun right, project. so tell us how we do this, really. What's the okay, so we've got we, we've got our junk drawer. Yes, and you know what? Assembly jar is basically what this is. You okay. can't go wrong with it. And it's a really fun creative exercise for people because this is stuff you don't have to worry about if you mess it up. You know, it's you, you can't hurt anything. So you there's can really be no right more, or wrong. More experimental and right. less fearful. Okay. Less, and assemblage it's, art. Assembly, what, yeah, yeah, assembly yeah, jar, assemblage a collage, art. found object type of thing. And it's, it's cool to do with the family too. It is. Okay. It's a great family. Kids love it. How many times you, your kids dig through their junk drawers? We do collages. I would have never I would have never thought of this. All right. It's a so great resource for any us, art project. Take us through how it works. Okay. What you want to do is I started with a, a wooden background. This is just a piece of plywood. Okay. You could use scraps of wood that you have around the house. You could cut down old bifold doors. You could use old wooden game boards. The reason I like a wooden background is because the weight of the objects starts to add right. up after a so while. You don't so you want, want it on a sturdy. flimsy canvas or something. If you're working with, some, something. with a lot of little lightweight materials, you could work on a canvas. Okay. But a wooden background of any kind is your best starting point. Point. Okay, cool. And then at the end, I painted my piece, mm -hmm. painted all of the objects. So I started with a primed board. It just makes okay. for better coverage it's in the end. Exactly. Okay. Then what you want to do is you want to dig through your objects and see what you have to work with. And I like to look to see what types of shapes you mm -hmm. have. And once you start to zero in on the items you're working with, you see different things. Like some things, like if you put this out, what's that? <laughs> a the letter scissors? X. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm like, it's wow. still a scissors. Okay. I don't know. Is that wrong? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I'm, I'm, it is. I'm terrified. Does, but now you got to zero in on that. You can see okay. letters right. out of some of the different objects right. and shapes and so forth. So you want to play that up into this your This is really design. very cool. Okay, so you can do it's even... It's a fun even... exercise. Relaxing. We all need that. All right. I'm digging through your And then you want to now. see some things you can disassemble. Take mm -hmm. them apart. I know um, you have some good stuff, electronics and things in yes, there that I had fun taking apart. Around. And then you can use the pieces of it. So you have all kinds of different shapes to work with. A lot of us have like chargers and you know shoestrings. Oh yeah. Really? Let me tell you, I used everything in your drawers. Really? <laughs> okay. I did. And then you know okay, you can kind of. Okay, wait. What weave. does that look like now? <laughs> that looks like the number eight. Okay. Fair enough. All right. Um, the number eight. So you lay these things out, and look you can at what you, look at what you're working with, okay. and then I always decide: Do I want to have a pattern? You could just do stripes. You could do something freeform. I kind of I drew what design I wanted to have for both of yours first. Then I had something to follow. Okay. Then what you're going to do is put all of your pieces on your board, because you want to have everything in place. Then you're going to go back in and just secure everything to your board. And okay. to secure things, you want things to be nice and stable. You're going to be hanging this on your wall. Right. So you don't want things to be popping off. Right, and if anything pops off of yours, you call me and I'll tell you <laughs> how to fix it. <laughs> <laughs> and you don't need a lot of tools or anything to do this project. The hot glue gun is a great thing to adhere. You get a quick grab mm -hmm. with things and any of your lighter weight objects. If you're working with heavier things like this piece of metal that we have here in the middle, I'd use a stronger adhesive, like a contact adhesive. Okay. Um, and because you're working on wood, you can secure things by screwing it into place. You can use some wire for reinforcement. So it gives you a lot more flexibility to make sure your things are on your board. Because there's no wrong way to do it. Absolutely not. If you want to put a not. screw through something, if you want to glue it, if you want to even, right. I guess, 
tape it or wire it on something? You could tape, the tape could be part of your design, okay. absolutely. Okay. And these pieces can either stand alone on your board and have their own space, you can just pile things up. The object in itself is interesting. And then at the end, once you have all of your pieces on your board, um, you're gonna, I, like I said, I painted it. So okay. and that really finishes it off because Right now, it just looks mean, like all of these objects. Right, because that's what we're all thinking. It's yeah. like, okay, great. I have, I have, now like, I've taken you know, the mess from my drawer and basically made a mess on a piece of board that right, I'm going to hang on my wall. Right, which is not happening. No. So, <laughs> all right, I want to see then, let's just recap for a second. We take the time, lay this out artistically in your best way, but there is no wrong way to do Pile it. Pile things up. Pile things up, affix it, get the pattern down, affix everything then, and then let's take a look at what they look then like. Then spray over it. Nice, okay. even coats of spray all right, paint. This is the part that makes it not look like we just threw all the junk on the wall. <laughs> right, right, right. 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 So and this is his and her artwork. So all of that clutter is now a masterpiece for your walls. And it is. <laughs> and it is. No way. This is, this is the board from your drawer. Okay. This is all of the pieces out of your drawers, Melanie. And this is from your drawer, Ryan. You had a lot of paper goods yes. in yes, your drawer. Good, so good I goods. tried to, you know, crumple things up to give it different text. You know, you don't want to just glue a bunch of notebook pages. No, there. you so don't. Really, you know, work with the object and see all of the different ways so you can you manipulate it. So you built up it. the center of his and that's crumpled paper that you almost made into a wreath. Yes. Okay, Basically, what do you guys Basically, we did think? a circular awesome. pattern here, square awesome. here. Yeah, this is very, very cool. And I actually, now that I see what it looks like, you're right, without the paint at the end. That finishes yeah. it off and it makes yeah, it Yeah, then we're modern, not interested. But now this is look. very cool. Oh yeah. Very nice so job. Awesome. Thank really you. Nice job. That was fun. Very cool. All right, so I want to thank you guys for letting thank us dig so through much. your drawers. Thank, thank you very guys. much. Thank, thank you. you. Great to meet you. And thank you very much oh, for anytime. this. Oh, anytime. Really, now I'm like inspired. I'm like, should we make it? We could make it like geometric. You could do anything. It could be, this is a fun thing. Oh, it's All fun. Right. You can't do it. You can't go wrong with it. Repurposing. Very nice. Yeah, green too, yes, by the way. Yes, love it. I love that. Coming up, unexpected design solutions for everyday items in your home. We'll be right back.